I'm John Moore, and I'm 77 years old. I'll be 78 next month. Well, I have I have a I I have a a, uh, uh, a thought process that I've gone through over the years and uh, reflecting on aging, and it's it's and what's important to me about aging and how it's worked out and as I reflect back on it I kind of look at it as uh, three silos I grew up in the Midwest so silos never really get full so I kind of look at it as silos filling up with knowledge uh, some of it good some of it not so good uh, but the first silo would be would take me back to uh, um, my Chicago years. At that point, though, I was uh, smoking three packs of cigarettes a day, and my health started to deteriorate. Uh, one of the hardest things I've ever done was stopping smoking, knowing that I only really, in my opinion, had only one chance to do it. Um, and over the next year and a half after I stopped that, I put on approximately uh, 60, 65 pounds and decided that that wasn't going to really work for the rest of my life. I started walking along the Chicago lakefront, which uh, um, evolved into jogging and evolved into running, which I've actually been able to stick with all these years. And so that, that health um, uh, silo is... Uh, the, the first one that I started with, and as the aging process progressed, um, the one thing that uh, would make it, uh, um, the process is inevitable, but the, uh, uh, the ability to enjoy it uh, is first and foremost, depending on, dependent on pretty decent health. So I've uh, tried, to, tried to make that a priority along the way and that uh, stopping smoking many years ago was what uh, what started it. The second silo that I've uh, dealt with um, uh, along the way is uh, financial. Personal savings were pretty difficult to come by and at that point I started uh, reading everything I could get my hands on on investing and along the along that path the market came up with mutual funds. Charles Schwab decided that <clears throat> there was a market for uh, uh, small investors. And uh, over the years, uh, starting small and staying with it has been um, has been one of the keystones of my my aging process. So that when the uh, paychecks uh, stopped, there was something there that was going to uh, be able to sustain the, the lifestyle that I had uh, um, become familiar with. And the final third um, silo that I, that I kind of uh, uh, looked at a, a long time ago was what to do in retirement. I got an early um, visualization of that from my parents. Um, when they retired, it was pretty much... Uh, um, they were working one day and then they were retired the next. And I saw two different retirement um, or aging processes. Uh, my mother just blossomed. She be she went into arts and crafts and just never looked back. My father, on the on the other hand, uh, went the opposite direction. He is really in the in the center of uh, a lot of action for his entire life until he retired, in which at which point he just went uh, steadily downhill with uh, uh, with no hobbies, no activities that he wanted to get involved with. And uh, and it was truly sad to see. And I learned that lesson and uh, or saw it um, materialize and decided that as I aged, I needed to transition into uh, things that were, were fun for me. Uh, and I have a, uh, um, a trip up the, a trip to the Arctic Circle uh, up in Norwegian coast uh, on the schedule for next year. And, um, and just got uh, uh, invited to, and we'll probably take, take a, uh, 
trip next year to as well to Mongolia. So uh, uh, both of those are uh, kind of reflective back onto my um, uh, passion for photography and also dependent upon uh, health and uh, finances. So those are kind of the, how I've uh, looked at aging from, uh, from earlier on. And, um, and I won't say that any of, the, any of those paths have been, have been straight, they've been full, full of bumps and uh, bumps and bruises along the way. But uh, those are the paths that have gotten to me where I, gotten me to where I am today, and uh, hopefully uh, will continue for years to come.